Hey there friends, it's Kate and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Golden State Educate. If you didn't already know, I am a third year second grade teacher here in Northern California and I have been vlogging some of my experience as a teacher over the last couple of years. I taught kindergarten and then second grade and now I am in my same classroom, but I'm setting it up a little bit differently this year. So I thought I would vlog it and bring you guys along for the things that I'm adding or changing. If you didn't already see the first part of this video, stop. Check that out, it'll be above in the cards and below in the description, and then you can pop back over to this video so that way you can see what we're doing today. So I'm gonna show you um, a little bit around my room and then talk through what I'm hoping to get done today and then just get to work. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna finish my library today. I'm going to start and hopefully finish my calm down corner. Um, I'm kind of work through this area a little bit um, and kind of fix this and change this. I think I'm gonna keep our class as a family, um, but instead of having it as pictures of the kiddos displayed here, I'm gonna do display work. So that's what those um, pieces of paper, are, just like marking spots for that. This whole area looks pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna add to my tech area just yet. I need to finish setting up my student center. Yesterday I hung my secret stories, but I didn't have enough clips for all of them to have two. And the ones that have only one clip um, are starting to fall off. So I'm gonna need to find a solution for that until I get more clips. And then I got a new cube organizer that I'm gonna build in this video and work on my teacher area a little bit. I don't fully have all the pieces to make this finished just yet, but that's okay. Um, coming over here, this area is mostly done, but I am going to add to this blackboard today. And hopefully um, in this video as well, I can work on this bulletin board. Okay, so I, in my last video, I talked about how I've never had a calm down corner. Um, and I wanted one to have this year because I definitely needed it. There's sometimes last year, actually in the last two years where kids needed to have not a timeout because I don't want it to be like a punishment corner, um, but they needed some time to like, you know, step away from the group and like recollect themselves. So calm down corner is necessary. I posted on Instagram. If you're not already following me on Instagram, it's just Golden State Educate. Check me out there. Um, so that way you can kind of participate in polls and like see things as I'm going through it. So I asked where my calm down corner should be. I had this spot and where my Chromebook cart is and most people voted on this spot. I was kind of torn on if I really wanted it to be here or not, but after talking to a lot of my teacher friends, I think this is the best spot for it. So I prefer all of my bulletin boards to match. If you look around my room, all the boards that are backed in white paper have the same borders and trims. And then all the ones that are brown have the same ones and all the ones that are black have the same ones. So I'm thinking I want this one to be white just because there's a black one above it already. Um, but the problem with that is I have enough white paper and I have enough border paper, but I don't quite have enough to do the double border that all of my other white ones have. So I think I'll just see what I can get with the double border and then maybe I'll have to buy another black one on Amazon or see if any teacher friends have another one. I, it's annoying because I really just need like one more of these strips. Um, I feel like it always is like that though, isn't it? So I'm gonna work on this, do a little time lapse, um, and then we can start putting it together with the pieces that I already printed and cut out. Okay, so it doesn't fit. I don't have enough border. I'm gonna order more, or I just ordered more. Um, so I'll have to get that. But the good news is I have enough like mapped out already so that way I can actually start putting the pieces on it. My biggest concern was that the border was gonna be like too thick. Um, I'm actually realizing it might be a little bit crooked. I may need to bring that down a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna put the words on and then try to start mapping out like what I actually want to be in my calm down corner um, because I've never had one before. So I'm thinking I'll have like breathing strategies problem solving strategies. I think the biggest thing that I'm gonna work on this year with my behavior management and with my students is teaching them how to problem solve. Last year I found I always said, be a problem solver, like be a problem solver, but I never explicitly taught 
like how to problem solve lessons. So during the first month of school, our biggest focus is gonna be like problem solving books, how to solve a problem, what do you do when you have a problem. Um, so I'm thinking I'll have like calm down strategies, breathing strategies, and then in this corner, I might have like, I can solve problems and then some like ways to problem solve. So that way, if even if they're having like a frustrated moment, they can come to the calm down corner and remember how they can solve their own problems. So that way I don't have to solve every single problem. So while I waited for my laminator to heat up, I fixed this wall. Um, I'm just not gonna leave any of the cutouts to be honest. I kind of know where the lights are. I know that the lights are like right here. Um, and then all the other things I'll, pro I'll be able to hang up there. It just looks like, it just looks a lot cleaner um, with everything covered up. And I think it'll be a lot easier to hang things on it without it looking weird. The only problem is I did mess up this part a little bit. I started cutting like into the paper, but I don't think you'll really notice. And I might even, my trick is I always put a little bit of uh, like a line of Sharpie over my staples so you can't see them. So I'm thinking that might work. Um, now that my laminator is heated up and all of those papers are laminated, I'm going to chill for a second, finish my coffee. I saw that early adventures, Shelly posted a new classroom setup video. So I think while I cut those, um, I'm going to watch her video, drink my coffee, and then I'll start hanging all the things. Okay, I have been a machine, you guys. I have had like a little assembly line or like a rotation. So I like put stuff through the laminator, while I'm putting stuff through the laminator, I'm cutting other things out. While I was cutting things out, I had previously sprayed all of the letters with like the matte spray um, and now they're dry. So I am done cutting and laminating and spraying and now things are pretty much just drying. So I have my R learning is drying right now for our learning targets. And then I have my secret stories that I'm gonna put up there. Um, I'm having a really hard time because a lot of them are starting to fall off because they're directly across from our like vent for our air conditioning. So they're just like blowing off basically. So hopefully my new sticky clips come sooner rather than later. So I'm gonna put you guys on a time-lapse and hang all of my uh, titles for all of these bulletin boards. And then we will go back to working on the calm down corner. my digraphs, my endings, the R controlled and the vowels and then the secret stories. It looks so good. I didn't end up spraying the labels with the matte spray. If anything, I can just take them off and do that later. I think the only one that will ever give us any problem is this endings one because it's kind of in the light, but I fixed them all. I'm still gonna need more sticky clips, but this little corner is making me so happy. I can't wait to start working at our little writing center. We are in the calm down corner right now and I am just trying to like map out how I want it to look. I'm starting to think it might all fit on this board or I might do the problem solving. Again, I'm not sure if I should stick with like things I can do to calm down and like breathing options or things I can do to calm down how to problem solve and then breathing options over there. I don't know. It just kind of depends. So let me turn you around and show you what it's looking like. I also didn't cut out the center of those because I don't have my sharp scissors. I cannot find my classroom like adult scissors, but it's on white paper anyway. So mm, I'm thinking I don't really need to do that. This is like so incredibly extra, but I it's a white paper and then all of these papers are white too. So I kind of want to like have like a black matting. So maybe I'll see what kind of black paper I have. Um, Cause I think that would like make it stand out a little bit more instead of just like white on white. Okay, I feel like this looks so much better. It's just five pieces of like white cardstock. So I'm thinking I might glue 
all the cardstock together. And then maybe I can Velcro these on there or hot glue. I don't want to hot glue them. I don't know. So I think I really, I do really, really like that though. Maybe I can just staple them all together and then staple them to the wall. I don't know. That definitely looks better, I think, on this white wall than just the plain papers though. So here's what we have. We have our calm corner letters and then I feel and then all of these different things that they can use to calm down. Obviously, I'm still going to get more border. And then this is the space that we're working with. So um, I guess I'll try to just like put everything on and map it out. Um, my concern is that I just don't know if it's all going to fit. I know that the pictures for problem solving are about just like a regular piece of paper. So I'll play around with the layout. It's hard because I don't want to start pinning things into this wall until like I know where it's going to go, but I really don't have any other way of trying it out. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll hmm. maybe I'll put the words and then I'll measure everything and see if it'll fit. I was also kind of thinking, okay, it's looking incredible. I'm so excited about it. So I've said this before, I'll say it again. If you are ever hanging bulletin boards, get these little silver, um, like little tacks. I use them for everything. And then I always do the first letter, the last letter, and then work in the middle. I know there's that trick about like putting the masking tape and then like hanging it with the masking tape. But every time I've ever tried that, I've ripped paper off the wall. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, but this ends up working for me because then I can like move them around. Some needs to move up, some need to move down, but they're always pretty centered and they look pretty good so this is looking awesome I'm gonna staple it to the wall and then this section I ripped it accidentally but the problem solving works really nicely right here um, so I might even end up sticking with the problem solving on this side and then even having like a flip book of breathing exercises inside this little blue bucket which is gonna be right here and then I'll have my yoga ball right here uh, or I can still do like the breathing up here. So tonight I'm gonna print these and then do the same thing, put it on like this black cardstock matting and then it's gonna look perfect in this section. It's making me so mad that I don't have the border today but it'll be in, uh, in the next couple of days. So before I post this video, it will be completed. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna do our learning targets um, or our objectives. So it's gonna say our learning at the top but as you guys know, there's like plugs or whatever, like things underneath this black paper. So I can't staple them because the words are actually gonna go over top of some of those things that are on the wall. So I figured if I just like use double-sided tape, that will work. Hopefully, I mean, they're literally just paper letters that are laminated. So hopefully they don't like start falling off throughout the year. Cause then I'll have, I'll have to figure out what to do about that. But I'm gonna try double-sided tape. looks pretty good it's not totally straight some of these letters got a little crooked but uh, since I taped it um, if I try to pull them off I'm gonna rip all the like the black paper off so we're just gonna call it good on that one and then I have all of these I might print out oh no just kidding uh, the the standards that I have say like math reading writing um, and then I'm gonna make an SEL one so this is what this is gonna be and then I have this bottom chunk that I'm not I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet because this, I was thinking I could hang um, like three of these, but this whole area where I would hang it is where the lights and stuff are. So I can't hang anything heavy right there. So I'm not sure, I'll have to think about it. I might just leave that for now, 
or alternatively I could take these out of the frame and just have like the piece of paper on there I might try that and see if that looks like I don't know cheap and tacky but I definitely can't have um I definitely cannot hang these frames so we can just have little yeah maybe are you kidding me people are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is this not just, uh, it's just so cute. I love it so much. Just wait until you see what's gonna go inside of here. It's like this exact same pattern. And, oh, oh my goodness, I just stepped on so many things. With the rug, obviously ignore my tripod and all of my mess, but like, and obviously the flag is not gonna be there, but this is so cute. It is considerably <laughs> later now. I think the last time I was setting up my classroom was maybe Wednesday, um, and it's Sunday now. So all day Thursday, we had full all day in-person trainings. Friday, we had full all day in-person trainings. Um, and then yesterday, I was enjoying my last Saturday of summer. So I really haven't set anything else up in my classroom since I last saw you guys and I was working on my calm down corner. You guys also saw me hang up our learning board um, and then I put the word, uh, like the labels and everything up for my secret stories which you can see basically all of these ones have fallen off which is a huge concern because they're really nice um, and I'm just worried about them. So. I have a lot of things that I wanna do. It's 11 o'clock right now on Sunday and I'm hoping to just like power out the next like five hours and have everything mostly done. So that way I can just focus on like planning and making copies and getting everything like set for the first week of school. So like I said, today is Sunday, but our first day of school is Wednesday. So the next couple of days we have like half day trainings and then time in our classrooms to set up. Um, I just went to Target. I grabbed a bunch of things that I've still been needing. I also took some things from my house that I had and I brought them to my classroom. So I am going to get started and show you what the goals are for today. All the ones that have fallen off are the ones that were blowing in the wind. So these ones are all fine. And then the ones on the door are fine. So I did get more sticky clips. I'm a little sad because I thought these were gonna be awesome and they are awesome for this wall. Um, but these sticky clips have just not not been doing it. So I think I'm actually going to reinforce all of these ones with like three or four sticky clips to hopefully keep those up for a little bit longer. I also did kind of keep finishing setting up my t-shirt area. That is one thing that I was able to get done. I got a mini fridge, um, but the joke is like my not so mini mini fridge. I got it for $50 on Facebook Marketplace, which is like such a steal, but it's a lot bigger than I was anticipating. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna utilize it as like also additional space so I can put like trays up here or like um, copies for the day up here, but I'm really excited about the fridge. It's really nice. Um, and I'm gonna be able to fit all of my lunches, my smoothies, my water pitcher that I'm gonna grab from my house and put it in there. And then I got these bigger cube organizers. So I had these ones last year and these are like the cheap <laughs> kind of crappy um, inexpensive ones from Target that just honestly are not sturdy <laughs> by any means. Um, and I thought I was gonna be smart by like saving money last year, but instead I actually just had to buy bigger ones. So I'm going to continue setting up my teacher area today and just kind of figure out what I wanna put in all of these squares. Um, a couple other things that I'm gonna do to kind of fix and rearrange this area. Um, I found in my closet all of these little money pieces, which I'm really excited about because they are magnetic. And in, so for counting our days in school, we're gonna say how many days in school. And I think I was telling you guys in another vlog, um, I haven't gotten around to editing all of them, so I don't remember like what I've said before and what I haven't. Um, but when we do our days in school, last year we just did like little tally marks on the board and I didn't love that. And part of my behavior management system is going to be pennies. Um, or, you know, coins. So when they do, you know, when they're all on task or when they're doing something they're supposed to do, they're going to get a penny for our classroom economy. 
but we don't learn money like we don't have our module for money in math until like March or April so I'm thinking having how many days in school and like counting the days in school based on money will really reinforce um, their knowledge of money and it's also going to help them count their banks at the end of the week on Friday so they can um, use what they've earned for things in our classroom economy. So a little bit different than what I did last year. I did not do individual like reinforcement, individual behavior reinforcement last year and I think this is going to be awesome. So I'm going to try to move my schedule up so that way I have a nice big space for how many days in school because obviously like nickels and quarters are going to take up quite a bit of space and then once we get to the hundredth day of school um we will use a dollar and then some coins so i think that's going to be really great i am going to work on this area work on my teacher area rehang my secret stories I'm also going to put up my library tapestry again. Um, it's basically done. My library is pretty much gonna stay the same as it was last year, but I'm just going to put some things back up um, and maybe try to fix some of me, some of the, uh, the bookshelves because the paint started ripping off of them. Okay, so for this area, I hung all of the secret stories up again, the ones that fell, and they all have, I don't know if you can see, they all have two, um, two little pins on each side, or not pins, two sticky clips on each side, and then one sticky clip on the bottom. And then I didn't want to, but I did end up putting two Velcro dots on the top and the bottom just to kind of secure them there. Because if I walk in here again and they're all falling off, I'm gonna be um, really upset. And some of them already got ripped a little bit and I want them to be great. Um, a little bit more. I hung my writing process pencil, which is going to be really cute. Uh, and then I also have the uh, magnets that they can move for when, you know, while they're writing, moving through the process. And then I have another thing that I haven't made yet, but it's going to go right there. And that's going to be for tracking their uh, tech minutes on the iReady app that we are required to use. I finished organizing my little teacher area a little bit more. It's probably not going to stay like this forever, but this is, you know, that's what I've got for now. Okay, so the theme is I keep running out of stuff, which is really annoying because then I have to order stuff and wait for it to come, but it's fine. So I decided to map out or like tape out where the anchor charts are gonna go. If you have been here for a while, I was teaching with an easel last year and I didn't, um, I didn't really like that. It just felt kind of awkward for some reason. So I think it'll be a lot better to just like work on the anchor chart while I'm standing up. Um, and because I used the post-it note anchor charts with like the sticky in the back, last year I kept like ripping it off and sticking it to the whiteboard, but then I would like pull it off and stick it again and pull it off and stick it again as I was using different anchor charts. And the stickiness of the back was getting all over my whiteboard and it was kind of, it didn't ruin it because I was able to get it off, but it was annoying because I couldn't write over it. So now I'm thinking by just having it mapped out, like that is where the anchor chart goes. Um, and I'll know that like, no matter what, that's where the sticky part is going to be. And it's not going to be all over my whiteboard. Um, I am going to make bigger hand signals and because I use thumbs up, thumbs down for like many things throughout the day, sometimes it's not, I'm ready or not ready. Um, I think I'm just going to make these for the question bathroom water. And I agree a lot bigger. And then I'm also thinking about printing some kind of like voice levels, to go up here um, because I didn't have a voice level thing last year for them to reference. Um, so I kind of want to do something with that.
All right, guys, here you go. So I changed it up a little bit. I had more of those yellow um, bins like you saw in the closet. So I just kind of moved them around a little bit. I was shoving, literally shoving all of the Magic Treehouse into this one. And I have basically the whole set. So I just put another um, bin. This really is like solid A plus second grade reading um, material. So uh, I think it's important to like prioritize putting these out. My kiddos loved them last year and I know the kiddos that I'm getting this year are um, a little bit of a lower reading level than I had last year. So these, they will grow into these and these will be great um, for the beginning of the year, middle and throughout the end of the year for everybody. So I'm just gonna make another label. I've gotten questions on how I do this. I basically just made these labels. I print them out, laminate them, hole punch them. And then I use a, um, Oh my gosh, I had to look it up. I use these zip ties um, to just kind of tie them onto the uh, the basket and then I just clip them. So I put another one and of Magic Treehouse. I'll just need to make another label for that. Um, and then I moved these guys over. Um, so I have my bad guys and dog man in here, miscellaneous chapter books. And then in here, um, I put in my Captain Underpants, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and then also these like diary of a Minecraft zombie or whatever. So all of my boys really loved this section last year. So I decided I'd put it out here. I will make another label for that. Um, let's see anything else that I did. Oh, I put up my um, first weeks, first month of school books and it looks so good. This might be one of my favorite book displays that I've set up. Um, and then I did leave out the two books that I'm gonna be reading on the first day of school. And then I will pull from this as the week goes on. We are not gonna be touching the library really until the second or third week of school. So I feel good um, that by the time they're able to look at these, I will have either read them or it will be brand new for them. And then this is the last bin. I have a good bit of like unicorn books. I have absolutely no idea where these Unicorn Academy books came from. Um, maybe I put them on my wish list and someone bought them. I have no idea. Um, but my girlies last year loved unicorns. So I have the Unicorn Academy. And then I also have um, Phoebe and her unicorn. Phoebe and her unicorn back there. I will also have to make a like unicorns label for that but this is the whole area I'm feeling really good about it I also finally hung up uh, a couple more strings or a couple more wire strings for our books we've read because I never ended up doing that last year it's a little bit uneven but because it's the white paper if I stab too many holes in it um, you can see the holes so I don't really care that much and then I wish I had a cuter way of organizing these but these are all just little pictures of the books that we will read throughout the year, or at least most of them, I'll probably need to make some more um, as the year goes on, as I read different books. But these are all the ones that we read last year for the most part. And I just have them some tacked to the wall. So that way they're easy to grab. Not the cutest thing, but honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. So here's our little library area. I was thinking I could maybe put my pillows in this black cart. Um, but they look kind of weird in there, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just store the cart for the time being, but happy little library.